Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and it's that time of the year where we are nearing a fresh new iPhone, that being the iPhone 6S. In this video, I'm going to recap all of the credible leaks and rumors surrounding that device and give you guys a total of 11 anticipated leaked and or expected features of the upcoming iPhone 6S. Now let's start with the obvious. The iPhone 6S will of course launch with iOS 9. It's the most recent version of iOS and while it's not game changing, it does feature some pretty nice enhancements and features. Some of which include a more powerful Siri, an official news app, better battery life, general bug fixes, and some new UI changes like full screen multitasking windows, for example. You can read about all of the features and improvements found on iOS 9 at apple.com, so go check out apple.com if you're at all curious. But overall, it's not a huge update, but it is worth mentioning. In addition to running iOS 9, the iPhone 6S will also feature more gesture controls. Touch ID will also be quicker and you'll be able to unlock your device faster than ever before and Force Touch will also be implemented. Now, Force Touch is kind of a big deal. It's gonna be the main selling point of the iPhone 6S. Basically, what it does is it creates more input methods by Force Touching the display, and it also does improve support for handwritten signatures. If you're running Apple Maps, for example, you could Force Touch on the map to open up additional settings and options that would otherwise be displayed in the tabs or slide up menus on the side of the screen. It's a pretty neat feature, but it's not very intuitive. I slammed the Apple Watch in one of my past videos for featuring Force Touch because it really complicates the experience as I never knew if there were additional options in the app I was using unless I hard pressed on the display. Now the iPhone 6S will of course feature a performance upgrade as it does each and every year. Instead of the A8 chip, the 6S will feature the A9 chip, but the biggest improvement will actually have to do with the RAM. Apple will finally bump the iPhone 6S up to two gigabytes of RAM. Now that sounds really pathetic, especially for Android users, but it will make a very noticeable difference, especially considering the iPhone uh, 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus only feature one gigabyte of RAM. More RAM means more multitasking and who doesn't love multitasking? In terms of the display, the screen size, the resolution, it's all gonna be the same. So the iPhone 6S will feature the same display as the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6S Plus will feature the same resolution and same screen size as the iPhone 6 Plus. So that being a 4.7 inch display with a 720p resolution, and a 5.5 inch display with a 1080p resolution. If you were looking for a smaller iPhone, maybe you have small hands, you just don't like the big display change that you saw last year, well, you might be able to go with the iPhone 6C. Now the camera on the 6S will be greatly improved. Not only will we see a pixel upgrade from eight megapixels to 12 megapixels, but we will also see the maximum aperture change from f2.2 down to f1.8 or 1.9. With the Galaxy S6 and the LG G4 debuting with fantastic camera sensors that have ultimately surpassed the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus in camera quality, you can expect Apple to seriously improve the camera on the iPhone 6S to make it better compete with these two devices in particular. All right, so we finished talking about all the boring stuff. Now let's talk about all the fun and important stuff. The iPhone 6S will feature a brand new color, that being rose gold. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, it's basically just Apple slang for pink. And if you're afraid of your future iPhone bending because there's clearly an epidemic of bending iPhones out there, the new iPhone 6S will feature a different internal design with different casing materials to make sure it doesn't bend in your pocket very easily. There will also be an added microphone to the bottom of the device next to the speaker to enhance voice quality. And Apple might add a sapphire lens cover to protect the camera and make it resist against scratches and scuffs. With that last one, those are 11 features we could expect to see in the upcoming iPhone 6S. Let me know down below in a comment which feature you are the most excited for. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help show your support. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDag.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. See ya.